Dear students, good morning. Welcome to our video lecture. Today we are going to start from question eighteen onwards. So, sum number eighteen of exercise seven and mark this is very important sum. It is one upon square root of sine cube x into sine of x plus alpha into dx. Students mark question eighteen and nineteen both the questions as very very important sums. Now here students, I am writing this as integration one dx upon sine x raised to four into sine of x plus alpha upon sine x within the square. Students, I am trying to divide and multiply by sine x. Now square root of sine x raised to four will be. Sin square x, and keeping the remaining term within the square root, sine of x plus alpha upon sin x. This step is interesting, students. In this type of sum, now a simple logic to remove square root. We suppose the term inside square root as d square. So. Suppose t square is equal to sine of x plus alpha upon sine x. So two t dt is equal to division rule. Denominator as it is derivative of numerator minus numerator as it is derivative of denominator. Upon denominator square into dx. So, two t dt will be equal to sine x minus x minus alpha upon sine square x dx. This is the formula of sine alpha minus beta. So this will be minus sine alpha into dx upon sine square x. So finally, dx upon sine square x will be replaced by minus two upon sine alpha into t dt. So our integral will change to i. Is equal to minus two upon sine alpha, which is a constant, and that I take outside t dt upon it will be root of t square. So t and t gets cancelled. Finally, integration one dt is t. Plus c, and so our answer is minus two by sine alpha into positive square root of sine of x plus alpha on sine x plus c. T will be positive square root of sine of x plus alpha on sine x. Mark this as students one of the most interesting sums of indefinite integral. Okay, students. We go further and do the 19th sum. 19th question is also students one of the most interesting question. 19th question. Students, we have to apply some basics of inverse t functions. The question is sine inverse of root x minus cos inverse of root x. Is equal to sine inverse of root x minus cos inverse of root x upon 
sin inverse of root x plus cos inverse of root x dx. Now, here condition is there, x belongs to close to interval 0 to 1, of course. Now, students pay attention, we know this identity, sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. So, this denominator will be pi by 2 and it will be a constant as 2 by pi outside. Now, instead of cos inverse root x, I can write pi by 2 minus sin inverse root x. Why students? I am trying to convert entire integral in terms of only one variable, either at the sin inverse function or cos inverse function. So this will be 2 by pi integration of twice sin inverse root x dx minus integration of 1 dx. So this becomes 4 by pi integration of sin inverse root x dx minus x plus c. Now students, what we we'll do? We'll separately evaluate this integral sin inverse of root x. Yes. And for that, I am taking x is equal to sin square theta. Left. So dx will be 2 sin theta cos theta d theta or I can write sin 2 theta d theta. So this I am calling as I1. So the value of I1 will be now sin inverse of sin theta will be theta into sin 2 theta d theta. This is algebraic solution. This is trigonometry so we a and d. According to I and rule, a comes first, so that will be u and t comes afterwards, so that will be t. So u as it is, integration of sin 2 theta is minus cos 2 theta by 2. Minus minus becomes plus. Differentiation of u is 1, integration of sin 2 theta is cos 2 theta by 2. So this becomes minus theta by 2 cos 2 theta plus 1 by 4 sin 2 theta plus theta. Now, students pay attention. We can modify the entire sum in terms of sin theta because from this we get sin theta is equal to root x if I draw a right triangle this is root x this will be 1 so this will be under root 1 minus x if this is theta so finally this is minus 1 by 2 theta will be sin inverse root x instead of cos 2 theta you can write 1 minus 2 sin square theta so 1 minus 2x plus 1 by 4 or I can write this as 1 by 2 because sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta sin theta is root x and cos theta is under 1 minus x plus theta. so if I plug this answer final answer of the sum will be i is equal to 4 by pi into I multiply and write this as twice x minus 1 by 2 into sine inverse of root x plus root x by 2 into root 1 minus x minus x plus c students this is our you can multiply 4 by 5 but keep it as it is here I have multiplied this negative sign so students we have to apply the basics of inverse state function that is why students this question of this sum is very very interesting 
answers can be written in a you can say different form students need not worry about the answer if it is check the form of the answer which is given here students but you, you can say they have multiplied and written 2 into uh, x minus 1 upon 5 uh, 2 into 2x minus 1 upon 5 sign is root x plus they have multiplied the root x into root x so this our answer is absolutely right now students the next part sum number 20 is also very interesting today all the questions which we are doing or which we will do students are important very very important from examination point of view all the sums have been asked in board examination right from students year 2001 onwards in say. So these are all the last 20 years board questions. So one has to be very careful in understanding the sums. Now sum number 20. Integration of under root of 1 minus root x upon 1 plus root x dx and of course x is greater than or equal to 0. Now, students in this sum, what we are going to suppose. Now recall this identity. We know that n square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 1 plus cos 2 theta. So, I can take x is equal to cos square 2 theta. So, let x is equal to this. So, dx will be minus 2 cos 2 theta sin 2 theta d theta. All of you know the derivative of cos square 2 theta because it is 2 cos 2 theta. Derivative of cos 2 theta is minus 2 sin 2 theta. Therefore, this integral will change to under root of 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 1 plus cos 2 theta into minus 2 cos 2 theta into sin 2 theta d theta. Okay, now students, this is 10 square theta, its root is 10 theta and 10 theta is written as sin theta upon cos theta minus 12 theta and outside keeping cos 2 theta as it is sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta d theta so again cos and cos gets cancelled so we have minus 2 2 sin square theta into cos 2 theta d theta now what is the replacement for sin square theta students? 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. So this becomes 1 minus cos 2 theta into cos 2 theta d theta. Again I go for simple expansion. This becomes cos 2 theta minus cos square 2 theta d theta. Now what is replacement for cos square theta? 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2. So the replacement for cos square 2 theta will be 1 plus cos 4 theta by 2. d theta. Take 2 as LCM, it can be cancelled. So the answer will be minus of 2 cos 2 theta minus 1 minus cos 4 theta d theta LCM 2 gets cancelled. Now integrate term by term. So minus as it is integration of cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta by 2. Integration of 1 is theta. Integration of cos 4 theta is sin 4 theta by 4 plus c. Now this will give us cos 2 theta is root x. So if I plot a triangle and take this as 2 theta, 
this will be root x, this will be 1, so this will be under root of 1 minus x. So, students, what we are doing, we will try to convert the entire sum in terms of two theta. Minus as it is, sine two theta minus theta, here it will be sine two theta cos two theta by plus sine four theta is two, sine two theta cos two theta taking two as LCM minus one by two, two sine two theta minus two theta minus sine two theta cos two theta plus C. So the final answer will be minus one by two sine two theta will be students under root of one minus x. Two theta will be cos inverse root x minus sine two theta into cos two theta. So root x into root one minus x plus c students. This is our final answer. You can multiply students by minus one by two or keep it as a constant students that will not have any problem. Okay, students. So here also we have been repeating answers can be written in many different forms. You do not worry about the answer of given students. You can write the answers in many different forms. So the final answer given in our textbook is students, we can say uh, yes, they have multiplied this so it is root x and 2. Okay, so this is you can say written in a slightly different form. Okay, so it is minus 2 into under root of 1 minus x. Minus minus becomes plus, and this is minus plus into the root of x. Okay, minus minus becomes plus. This 1 by 2 students we are getting extra. Here integration of sine 4 theta. Okay, this is absolutely right students. Under root of 1 minus root x upon 1. So it is dx is equal to minus 2 cos 2 theta. 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 1 plus cos 2 theta is 10 square theta. Minus 2 we took outside. Okay, then 2 sine square theta will be 1 minus cos 2 theta into cos so cos square 2 theta this is also absolutely right this 2 and 2 which we have taken outside gets cancelled now integration if I take LCM to be 2 cos 2 theta minus 1 minus cos 4 theta that is also right integration 2 constant cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta by 2 so that 2 and 2 gets cancelled of all is theta minus sine 4 theta by 4. This is also right. Sine 4 theta is 2. Sine 2 theta cos 2. So 1, 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Taking 2 as LCM students. I think our answer is absolutely right. That they have simplified a slightly different way students. Our final answer should always match. We are getting that two extra. Okay, that two is if I am taking two as LCM. Definitely, students we will be getting two theta will be cos inverse of root x sine two theta. So it is under root of one minus x two theta is cos inverse of root x. This is sine 2 theta into cos 2 theta. So it is having a negative sign outside. I am going to multiply. I think our answer is right. We have not made any mistake. Our answer is like slightly different from the answer students which is given at the back. But you can check whatever we have written is absolutely right. There is no problem because this 1 by 2 as LCM will be multiplied outside. I think students 
our answer is absolutely right. That two and two gets cancelled. So negative sign. So minus one by two, two into under one minus x. Answer slightly differs so this is given minus two into under root one minus x plus cos inverse root x. Okay, that also we are getting plus that two we are getting extra. I think they would have multiplied that two. Let's see. Okay, students, I don't think that we have made any mistake in the sum. Okay, students, now we are doing sum number 21.
substituting x is equal to minus 2 so minus 3 is equal to minus b so b is equal to 3 now I'm cutting short i1 so i1 will be a minus 2 log mod x plus 1 plus 3 log mod x plus 2 plus c which I'm plugging here so our final answer will be minus 2 log mod x plus 1 plus 3 log mod x plus 2 minus 1 mod x plus 1 plus so this should be our final answer students so now let us check the answer is written in which form so the answer is in the same form minus 2 log mod x plus 1 minus 1 upon x plus 1 plus 3 log mod x plus 2 plus c ok students mark question 23 and 24 also very important from examination point of view question 23 and students question 24 also we mark very very important from examination point of view now students question 24 tan inverse of it is tan inverse of root of 1 minus x upon 1 plus x dx ok uh, so, so this is sum number 23 sorry then students will do sum number 24 ok the logic is same let us suppose x is equal to cos theta so dx will be minus sin theta d theta now I write this as integration of tan inverse 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta into minus sin theta d theta now 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta will be 10 square theta by 2 its so root is 10 theta by 2 so this will change to tan inverse of 10 theta by 2 minus sin theta d theta taking minus 1 by 2 as a constant we get theta sin theta d theta algebraic so u trigonometric so v so this changes to minus 1 by 2 integration of sin theta is minus cos theta so integration of cos theta let us multiply this so this will be minus 1 by 2 sin theta plus c now this becomes 1 by 2 theta will be cos inverse x cos theta is x minus 1 by 2 sin theta will be under root of 1 minus cos square theta plus c so this should be students our final answer in sum number 23 so the logic is that if we have outside a tan inverse function within the square we we'll try to bring tan theta so the answer is 1 by 2 x cos inverse x correct minus 1 by 2 under root of 1 minus x square plus c now students sum number 24 mark sum number 24 also as a very very important sum students sum number 24 is also a very important sum now let us concentrate on what is given the given integral is x square plus 1 is in square into log 
x square plus 1 minus twice log x whole divided by x is to 4 dx. Now students, in this type of sums, all of you please concentrate students. In this type of sums, the main part is to formulate the integral in a definite form. I write this as under x square plus 1 upon x. And here I am writing log of x square plus 1 upon x square. And here I am writing 1 by x cube dx. Check how. We have parted this up, log a minus log b, log of a by b. Now, if I were to bring this form, I am writing this as square root of x square plus 1 upon x square, log of x square plus 1 upon x square, and 1 by x cube dx. So, this will change to under root of. 1 plus x is to minus 2. Log of 1 plus x is to minus 2 into 1 by x cube dx. So this conversion shows this conversion is going to be very very interesting. Now students, I suppose 1 plus x is to minus 2 t square. So, we will get minus 2 by x cube dx is equal to 2 t dt. So, dx upon x cube will be replaced by minus t dt. So, the value of integral becomes square root of t square log of t square and minus t dt. So, square root of t square is t into t will be t square into 2 log t dt taking minus 2 outside t square into log t dt. Now, algebraic and logarithmic IL. So this comes first. So this will be U and this will be V. 